Okay guys, the next pattern on our plate is Spiral Fence 2. Um, if you scroll down, there is a video um, by Ellen uh, Walters. She has made a really good, I watched this video when she first put it out, really, really good video on how to take this pattern and play with it and do, I mean, she shows you how to do the pattern, but then she plays with it and does other things with it. Really, really good um, video on how to, um, how to take a pattern and do other things with it. Really good. Just wanted to let you know it's there. That's, it's a resource for you. Um, so it looks like the first thing we, so I, since I have seen Ellen's video, I have some idea of how to draw this. Um, I'm going to start with a row of spirals. And then from the top of this spiral to the top of that one, you're going to draw a spike. So the best way to do these spirals is actually to start at the top and work your way, leaving that, that open at the top. Okay. And then you're going to make this little V shape, connecting them together. And then at the bottom, you're going to do the same thing. We're going to connect them together with a V shape like that. Assuming you want to do a V shape. Ellen did all sorts of other shapes, which made it look different. And then um, you're going to aura the inside here and here. And that's the pattern. And then you can embellish however you want. Nicole here has embellished with um, some stripes, um, some flux, some little beaded thingy ma bobs. Let's see what we can come up with, shall we? I'm thinking that since I'm still working on the Christmas patterns, that I will go ahead and make this sort of a Christmas ornament thing. Um, so where's my little glass? I like, I've been using a little shot glass to draw my, my circle. I'll put it a little bit lower on the page so that I have room for a little hangy ornament thingy. Just to get a nice round one for the ornaments. I feel like they, since they're a manufactured item, but they sort of need that real circle. Most of the time I wouldn't bother. And then of course, since I don't trace with my pen. Okay, what was I saying earlier about being perfect? I even used a pencil and I drew around a circle. And look what I did. Do you see that? That is not on that line. I am not perfect. It's okay. I gave it my best shot. So now my little ornament's a little cattywampus here. It's okay. We'll, we'll fix it. And you know how I'm going to fix it? I'm going to go back on that line where I want the circle because it, I really did want it to be round. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little brush pen and I'm going to fill that in where I have my little boo-boo. I'm going to go a little bit further and a little bit bigger. Round over here. Like this, and then come to a point, and then on this side, I'm going to do the same thing, make it bigger, and then come up here like that, fill all that in with my brush. And voila, look, I now have a shadow. 
that I wasn't really intending, but there is one. And now my ornament is round. And as a matter of fact, I may actually grab my gray and do a little bit more in gray. You'll be able to see the difference in color. Maybe. Maybe not. That's a pretty dark gray. I don't know. Not much caring for that. So. The other thing I can do, okay, I wanted it there and I wanted this little hanger thing. So guess what else I can do? Where's my brush pen? I need a scrap piece of paper under there. Okay, just so I can go all the way up to the edge and not smoosh onto my other background page. wanted more of a circle. Really I did. This was not my intent, but you know maybe it'll turn out to be for the best. Fill all that in with block. It is the good thing about a brush pen is it does fill in areas, large areas of color quickly. All right, so now she's a round ornament. In a black background. There's always a way to figure it out and fix it, right? That's what the, there's a pattern. I need to do this part. There's a pattern called raspberry, an official Zen tangle pattern. I think it's called raspberry or blackberry or some kind of berry, which is basically blobs. like this, that cover up a quote unquote mistake. Yeah. All right, let's take that paper away because it looks funny. Look how pretty that looks already. I'm happy with that. I'm good, I'm good now. Aren't you guys glad? I'm good now. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my row of spirals. I'm just gonna go across here I'm not going to draw a reference and some of my spirals are probably going to be different sizes and that's all right. I 
think I want to reference that there's one going that way. Okay, so then they're going to come up and down, up and down, like so. Reminds me of Charlie Brown's sweater. And across like this. Pattern itself is easy. It was drawing my string that was difficult. Okay, and then I'm using you in a little bit. You're a little far away. And then here we want to go inside like that. like that. That's the pattern right there. And then we can do whatever we want to embellish it. Um, Okay, and then we can try one of Ellen's uh, variations. Why not? Let's go here. And do the spirals again. So watch the video because I'm going to do some of those variations, I think. I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember exactly what she did, but she did like, I know she did like square. As one of the shapes. Something like that as one of the shapes. Um, and I know she did some sort of rounded shape too. So I'm going to do another row of spirals. And do a rounded shape.
like that. Those are good. I like them. I think it needs a little color or shading or both. Maybe a little shading. Let's start with shading. some color. With all this black, I think it needs some color. But maybe not much. Um, I really want to color with my metallics, but I know that they don't show up. So... I'm not too sure why, but it wants to be orange. Orange is not a typical Christmas color. But that's what color came out of my bag there. It's it really would like purple. And I have no idea why, but I have no purple. That's weird that that this set of of colored pencils would not have a purple in it. This and I even have um pencils that somebody else uh, sent to me. It's weird that there was no purple. No violets, no lavenders. Oh, okay. There is purple. Big ding dong. It's the markers that there's no purple. The color pencils have purple. I'm just being s silly. I was gonna say a bad word. I was going to say something not nice to myself, but I stopped it. I did, I stopped it. Okay, purple. I want purple. That was my alarm. I need to think about Getting ready to go here shortly. But I have time. I don't have to hurry, don't have to rush. That's just, I like to set an, a, a warning alarm just so that I'm aware of time passing and that I'm not trying to shove more in my day than I can handle. I've learned that The day will whoosh away from me if I don't set alarm. And, um, you know, the time that I have to leave is not set in stone or I'm not, I'm not obligated to be somewhere at a particular time. It's just the time that I'd like to get things done today. 
Um, but if I don't set an alarm, I will just sit here and draw and color all day long. And then the things that need to actually get done in my day won't get done at all. Okay, I'm not, I'm not really happy with the orange now. It's not the right color orange. It's too, I don't know, something. I need, I need a brighter color. Not enough contrast with my purple. I'll get this. This one is yellow orange. Get a little yellow in there. That looks better. Yep. It needed that little bit of yellow. Give it a contrast. That it didn't have. Sometimes your colors go really good together, but there's not enough contrast. And contrast is what really excites your eye. Whether it's black and white, which is why we really enjoy our Zentangles, because black and white is the ultimate con contrast, right? But opposites on the color wheel, you know, your orange and your purple, or your, let's see, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. orange and blue, yellow and purple. That's probably why it wanted a more yellowy orange, because yellow and purple are the opposites on the color wheel. That's a better. Still a little brown on the camera. It doesn't look that brown in real life. Huh. Weird. Looks much more orange in real life. I like it better in real life. So I'm sorry about the color on the, uh, on here. The not, not, not the color I expected. Okay, now I want a little something in the background now that I've got. So I'm gonna use my, that's the wrong pen. I'm gonna use my Uniball Signo white pen. Can you, there it is. Uniball Signo. And I'm just going to draw a little like sparkly star kind of a thing. I think this is the official tangle called AAH. A -A -H. It's just that. We've all done it before. Drawing stars. I think it needs, my background needs a little something something. Give it a little sparkle. Okay, there we go. A little bit of sparkle. That's what it needed. I'm happy with that. Oh, I have no place to put the name. Ha <laughs> ha. Guess I'm coloring. I'm I'm signing in white, and I'm putting the name in white. This was Spiral Fence Two. Fence too. I almost neglected those two very important things. Okay, you guys have a really great day. I will uh, see you later. Um, you know, if things don't go the way you anticipate, which this one did not, um, you know, kind of go with the flow. I figured it out, and I think I like the way it looks. Too bad the color is so weird on the camera. 
It, it's, it's much more orange in person. I promise you. It's, it, this kind of looks brown. It's really, the camera is really picking up all of that um, shading I did. I maybe shouldn't have shaded, but it's okay. It is what it is. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. It's going to be the last one that I do for a while. And, um, you know, you won't know that I will be away, but I will be away. I have gotten all caught up. Today is December 9th, and I have drawn my drawings all the way through January 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, through January 7th. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm a whole month ahead. But that means I have a month off from drawing and I really, I think I need it. So it'll be good for me. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.